three hour drive we're now approaching Kantanaburi where the famous river bridge over the river Kwai was yeah, Ampe Tamon. Ampe Tamon. 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 I'll need to let you have a look at this. Yeah, Ampe Tamon. I think the, the Thai pronounce it the River Kwe. Is that right? River Kwe. Oh, river Kwe. Kwe. Where we would say the River Kwe. Drink. I think. Pronunciations. But this is the district of uh, uh, Kanchanaburi. Uh, so the right hand lane goes to Bangkok, Kanchanaburi on the left side. A little prompt there. <laughs> It can actually, it got a bit confusing round about the Lanchana Buri, whatever that is, it sounds a similar name. But uh, there were a lot of roadworks and things going on, new roads, uh, kind of spaghetti junction at this area, and I was kind of getting a bit confused myself. So, yeah, but I uh, managed to make it. But uh, ah, I have to say that the, the driving up here is a bit crazy, really. Uh, you just have to understand the concept of the driving up here, and it becomes simple. You know, people just don't give way, and that's all you've really got to keep in your mind. When you're driving along the road, you've just got to keep your wits about you and uh, react to most junctions and expect and anticipate things happening in front of you. The further you can look ahead uh, and anticipate the worst, the better. <laughs> But patience is a big thing here, and uh, you've got to have a lot of patience for other people doing things, uh, pushing in front of you, driving in front of you, uh, these are the things that happen here and uh, it's a normal part of life and uh, we're not used to that culture and we get annoyed and we start honking at people and stuff like that, well they're going to do that here. Uh, we've managed to find a place called the, the Bridge. Residence uh, hotel, just near, the, about a kilometre away from the actual uh, the River Kwai. So uh, this is actually on the second level, of the pool, and uh, it's got a gym and things in there. Um, but just quickly, uh, I, I wanted to sort of try and do a wee bit of history of this place, but uh, there's quite a bit of research to be done because there's a lot of uh, other stories, um, particularly with the movie, which was in, actually set in Sri Lanka, and uh, the famous bridge over the River Kwai in the film was um, constructed of wood and blown up and all this stuff. But however, none of that actually ever happened. In fact, the bridge itself was uh, constructed of concrete and uh, and metal. As you'll see shortly when we go along there, we're just heading along there now. But I just popped into this, uh, it's quite busy along there, so I don't know how much I can speak along there. So, you know that the, the story of the, the bridge over the River Kwai was, uh, the bridge was constructed by prisoners of war, namely American, British, Dutch, um, and Australian um, prisoners of war when uh, Japanese occupied this part of Thailand uh, during the World War II. And uh, they, were, they called it the Bridge of Death because uh, there was about 9,000 uh, prisoners of war that actually lost their lives constructing the bridge. Whether it be because of famine, because of all the malaria that was going about, uh, mal maltreatment. Uh, however, um, yeah, so that was that. Uh, there are two big cemeteries just nearby. Uh, we're going to go along and see them as well, probably tomorrow. But now we're going to pop along the bridge. Let's go have a look at it. Yeah, we'll just come along here for the first time. Have a look and see. Check that on. First of all, click, click, click. Yes. Getting sound good. Yeah, 
so here we are. So what have we got here? There's the floating floating restaurant. Hmm. Robert Quay restaurant. Quite a wee occasion this actually to be honest. To think that uh, all these lives were actually lost. Building this bridge. Anyway, the, the bridge was built to accommodate the Burmese, the Burma, Thailand uh, Railway. Uh, obviously to supply... Uh, uh, that's the railway line. So that's the railway line to Bangkok. Yeah, and uh, of course, well, there we are, the famous bridge. And uh, we're going to have a wee walk across this. Uh, tomorrow, like I say, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we will, um, make sure that, um, that we get the, so you can see that the bridge, the original bridge itself is, no doubt, put riveted together, metal construction, uh, for sure. And like, uh, as I was saying earlier in the movie, there is railway sleepers under there, and the original railway line. Uh, it is hard to believe that this is all original and was the actual thing. There must be some sort of stage show or something out there. Uh, I think there must have been some sort of show. There's a, a market away across the other side of the river, but this is the the Kwai River, and there's a as and this is the the Kwai uh, Kwai Noi. The Kwai, well, Kwai uh, is pronounced in Thai, but uh, as we know that uh, no, it's Kwai. Noi means small. There's another Kwai uh, river, and it's Kwai Yai. And the Yai and the Noi both meet to for the down river. Uh, both the big and the small rivers uh, join up and um, merge to make the the the, the Maitlong. Now, let's not can confuse that one. I did a little bit of research on that one. Uh, not the, to be confused, uh, the Mekong River, the Mekong River, the one that came from Laos. In fact, I, I think it originates China and it flows, uh, flows right through. Um, flows right through Thailand. But uh, as I say, just to summarise that, this is the um, the Kwai, and it's the Kwai Noi. Uh, over by the mountains there, you can see it away in the foot in the, the distance there, uh, the, the Kwai Yai runs with me to make the, the Mekong, again, not to be confused with the, with the Mekong. The Mekong actually comes out of Ratchasima into the Gulf of Thailand. It's not easy doing a little bit of research for five minutes and then try and explain it all, but I'm trying my best. It's just interesting, you know, this. I actually believe that real prisoner of war, prisoners of war were uh, Japanese soldiers behind them. Uh, and if you didn't work, you see, you didn't get fed. And, and uh, at the end of the day, 9,000 9, uh, burials are in the two cemeteries, which are just close by, I think over in this area, but uh, because we drove past them, I think probably where the trees are, but we drove past them as we were actually uh, coming in here. So, anyway, so this is a... Nice to have a walk across. So, uh, I hope our train doesn't come over now, otherwise there's going to be uh, 
another two graves over in that cemetery. 9002. <laughs> That'll be just the thing, eh? Me to get hit by a train. <sighs> anyway. Now the heavy jungle in this area and uh, of course it didn't just uh, things didn't just stop at this bridge. When this bridge was constructed they had to cut through uh, heavy rock and uh, lay railway lines. I think there's about 200 kilometres uh, jungle that was accommodated for this railway. Um, and of course they nicknamed it the Death Railway. Or well, maybe the Death Bridge, I don't know. I think it was the Death Railway. I think the Thai people said for every lengthy rail that was dropped or laid, there was a life for every single rail that was dropped. Yep. Now you can see there's a centre rail. You've got your main running rail on the right hand side. And it's what we would call the standard uh, rail gauge and it's also four feet six which it was and uh, the inner rail is actually a catch rail just in case there's a derailment to stop the train from so if a wheel drops off here it'll catch the next rail and it'll prevent it from coming off the bridge yeah and it's a typical bullhead type rail yeah assuming they're the original rails that were laid Totally amazing if it was. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what's happening over there. Yeah, I think in the evening there's a lot of stuff goes on here. You know? Of course now we're going to start getting into the, the rugged part of things. I think there is a walk. I think you can walk for about 20 minutes uh, right through the jungle bit. And then you start walking through areas that were uh, um, where the prisoner, prisoners had to cut through rock. Uh, yep. Some story. I think the uh, unfortunate thing uh, is with the actual the movie Bridge Over the River Kwai, which I think I maybe explained earlier. Uh, this isn't very safe. To to be very careful here because there's no fence and there's a bit of a drop there so you have to be extremely careful here and <laughs> health and safety anyway uh, oh yes um, I was explaining there that um, not to be confused with the farm too much although there is a lot of truth in the movie a lot of stuff were taken uh, from the original story into the movie, but the, the original bridge, uh, which we're standing on now, uh, was made of uh, concrete and, uh, and metal girders. In the movie, they, they, they had to build a bridge uh, out of wood. So they constructed it with wood and made it look like it was being constructed in wood and it was blowing up and everything in the movie. That never ever happened in, in real life. Plus the fact that uh, the movie bridge was built in Ceylon, Sri Lanka uh, because of the scenic area that was... Now, I didn't plan to walk 20 minutes into the jungle uh, at the moment. We've had a three hour drive up here, it wasn't too bad, it was just quite good. And uh, but that uh, you can't really get a true, true actual picture of how it must have looked then and way back in the 40s, World War II. And uh, but yeah, this was a uh, quite heavy jungle. Um, and the, the railway goes right through to Burma. So that's me at the other end, and uh, the Liverclay Bridge. Quite a, 
a very sad and a very emotional uh, atmosphere, I think, for me here. To think uh, that all that actually happened, I'm, I'm actually walking over it. This is totally amazing. Tomorrow we'll visit the cemetery, and we'll visit the museum, and uh, hopefully you'll come along with me. <laughs> anyway, so here's David Attenborough signing off. <laughs> David Attenborough, right enough. Real nature, nature travels. Anyway, okay, right, guys, speak to you soon. I'm going to have to walk back now. Oh, God. Well, Bangkok, Friday the 3rd of December. Uh, okay, so it's Friday the 3rd of December and uh, we arrived at uh, the Wat Prakiao. Uh, uh, yeah, excuse my Thai pronunciation, but uh, this is one of the most, uh, I would say, famous uh, temples and uh, probably religious areas in the whole of Thailand. Um, we walked in through the gates and uh, Ta immediately went over to the, the little booth and paid for some flowers and a few things as an offering and went in, had a little pray in the main area over here and uh, she's just come out now so yeah. So, uh, so you buy a little bit of oil and you fill up the little trays uh, for day birth Buddha. So you put in some oil. Yeah, plenty of oil there. A nice big stir fry there, I'm afraid. Smell it. Mm. I wonder if it's uh, olive oil. Whatever. So, this is the, I would assume, the start of our adventure here. See some people praying in there. I don't know how the, uh, the volume is, but microphone I'm using the mode I've unplugged the road microphone however that's where we came in over in this area I suppose it's the main gate and it's an area just here where you would normally uh, I scan my mock Janet app that I have on my oh there's a good picture of someone taking a video. Nice thin guy. <laughs> okay.